It does not taste good. Just try now for a little. Well, hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 43 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And today I thought let me try out the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless Flexi Hold 3-in-1 Primer Concealer and Foundation. <laughs> Very big now, mouthful. It's a newer one. Um, well, it's actually really new. At least for us it's new. And I think um, it's new regardless because I just talked about it in a... I'm removing the sticker. Uh, or in a new makeup releases video a few weeks back. I thought I, I do want to try it. So I have it. I need to... Yeah. It could very well be that it is too light because we're going into winter, you know. So yeah, um, I have already done a part of my eye makeup. As you see, that's another video. It's a palette bingo with uh, some chocolate bar palettes. What did I call it again? The Sweet and Tasty Avocado Chocolate Popcorn. Something along those lines. So yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, what I did for the rest of my... Uh, I will link it underneath the cards. There. Yes. <laughs> uh, what I did on the rest of my face is just skincare and sunscreen. I actually wanted to uh, try out the rev or put the Revolution Pro primer underneath because uh, usually Max Factor kind of dries out my skin. Now I was looking through the ingredient list here and it doesn't have anything that should dry out my skin. It doesn't have any alcohol, so or at least not the drying kind. So I'm going to just put this on my face and see what happens now this is a first impression so it is not really a foundation review i will let you know um how i get along with it uh, you get 30 mils which is not really weird um i got it at a 30 percent discount because we had foundation days or something along those lines in one of the drugstores but usually this retails for i think it's almost 20 euros so i'm going to let that sink in So yeah, let's let's see. Oh yeah, I have the color beige. Oh, it's pretty liquidy. Did I shake it? I did. Sh I did shook it. So here, it's probably too pale. It's not as thick as I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah I think it's pretty pale, people. But yeah, let's kind of bounce it in with a sponge. On one side, and I think I will get my brush for the other. I feel like I need a lot, but we we will see. Let's try it directly onto the sponge. I feel like I need a lot. Uh, or maybe this sponge just soaks up a lot. I don't know. Oh. So, flexi hole kind of means to me that it shouldn't... Uh, sink into my lines but we shall see I want to build it up a little bit here <laughs> and I don't know why but I always feel that kind of Max Factor is an old lady brand so it should be right up my alley but I don't know why I think that you know uh, I don't know why it's not that I use only older models. Um, I don't know. It's just maybe... I don't, know. I don't know. I feel Max Factor not really doing anything hip and young and fun. But it could be me. Okay. So one side is on, obviously. And I have my mirror in front of my face. So yeah, let's do the... does not taste good. Just try now for a little. Let's do, let's do the other side with a brush. So I use two pumps for this side on my hand. Now I'm not proficient with a brush by no means. So what I'm going to do actually is going to go over it with a sponge. But I do get a lot more coverage uh, with the brush than with the sponge. And it oxidizes a tiny bit. So that is not uh, too bad because it's 
a bit too light for me at the moment. I'm not mad at the fact that it is oxidizing. I feel like it sits on top of my skin. Well, actually, I'm grabbing a tiny bit more. Everything sits on top of your skin. Because if it would sink into your skin, you would not see it anymore now, would you? It also cannot melt into your skin. I know I say it as well, and I know what I mean, but it, it is not possible. It forms a nice layer on top of your skin, or, or it doesn't, you know? I always find our terminology really, really funny, but it does not matter. Okay, it creases underneath my eyes, which isn't weird, because everything does, but not uh, a whole lot. So that is good. Oh. It is setting, I feel, but I do feel that it looks powdery on my skin. Now, granted, I should have, uh, um, what do you call it again, shaved. I do that regularly. I don't want to have a mustache. And, you know, any which way you look at it, I'm getting older. A lot of old ladies have a mustache. I don't want one. So, yeah. Let me get some concealer. I don't know which color this is. Because it has rubbed off. It is the one minute. Uh, no. The one from Catrice. That I like so much. Because I kind of need it here. It's just. I slept okay. But you, it does, it does not look it. This foundation. Uh, I, I kind of put a shitload on. I think I put on. Five pumps, which is a lot. It is very, very, very hefty. But it is a lot, you know. So, yeah, there's that. I do feel, though, that now that it is kind of, it is setting. It is um, obviously warming up a little bit because my skin is warmer. It looks nice. Uh, it doesn't look powdery anymore like it did. It doesn't seem to... Uh, uh, cling to any lines and it plays nice with my concealer which is nice as well so yeah if it doesn't dry out my skin i will be very very happy uh, however let me clean my hand it oxidizes a little which i don't mind and it is actually okay i do need to bring it down a little I have holes in my ears because I didn't want to put in my earrings before my foundation. I'm going to... Do I need powder? I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it set by itself. I'm going to clean my head a bit. So let me move my spider back. Wow. If you hear weird noises, it's the wind. It's very windy today. Now, for those of you who don't know, I live in the Netherlands at the coast. So, it's always windy here. But it's very windy now. So, I, I actually thought this morning that it would be a very good time to test out the Huda uh, Lash Glue. The new one that she has that remains sticky for four hours. In, in today's weather we are having here. I don't have it. Otherwise, it would be a perfect day to test it out. It has uh, practically set... What I can do, though, is just a tiny bit of powder. Um, I want my hourglass because I, I love that powder. So let me just set a little bit underneath my eyes with this. And then... That's a lot. I said a little bit, not a lot of it. God damn it. I'm just... Um, this is an area where I tend to remove foundation quickly. It is an area that has the most trouble clinging to foundation. So that's also why I am setting there. Let's kind of sweep a little bit of powder there where I know I'm going to put on a little bit of powder. That don't make any sense today, I think. Now I am looking in a magnification mirror because... Uh, yeah, because I have one. <laughs> That's basically the only reason. Um, and I'm looking really up close, obviously. So, 
in the magnification mirror it actually looks nice yeah it it doesn't look natural you know it looks it looks like i have foundation on, on my face basically which is weird because i have foundation on my face but first impression um i actually haven't said it well no not really because i didn't need to just when i waited now my skin type is normal to um dry and it can get a little bit dehydrated when it gets colder so that is my skin type um, if you are oily maybe you need to set it but first impression wise it feels nice uh, i hate sticky foundation but yeah this one feels nice i'm going to put on the rest of my uh, face and then i uh, will be back after that and kind of give you my final first impression thoughts yes Wow. So everything is on. Uh, earrings and all that are changed. Uh, again, I will leave the video of the eye look down uh, below and in the cards. Let me kind of check up close uh, how it performed. The first thing for me, and that's actually really important, especially with foundations from Max Factors, is that my face does not feel dry. I did spray it with a setting spray that contains denatured alcohol. I'm well aware. I did do that. After that was kind of dry-ish. I sprayed a little bit of hydrating toner back on top. That combination for me works really, really well. Um, and the nice thing about it is it kind of melted the powders into the foundation. Not that I used a lot, but still. Um, but it did not make my face feel yucky and sticky and tacky, which, which can happen with some foundations when I spray my face. So it didn't happen uh, like that. Uh, it looks nice. Uh, it is still on my cheeks, which is a huge thing for me. Um, it does not look powdery anymore. So this is one that if I first apply it, I'm like, hmm. And then when it kind of settles into my skin a little bit, it's very, very pretty. However, what I do have to say is that it uh, sinks in here. No, it kind of skips. So it, it does emphasize these lines a tiny bit. A lot of foundations do, except my high-end foundations. But a lot of drugstore foundations do that. Uh, so yeah, I don't mind it too much. Here on my forehead where I have almost a Grand Canyon. No, it's, it's okay. But they are deeper there. I, you know, I have a very expressive face. What can I do about it? Yeah, not move my face. That's not an option, people. It's not an option. Um, but it did not emphasize them there. So it, it actually looks natural. I, I'm looking, well, as natural as foundation can look. You know, you can see I have foundation on my face, people. That is just the way it is. It is not doing wonky things here, which can happen. Uh, I've had this foundation on my face for... Uh, all in all, I think an hour and a half. Something along those lines. It looks nice. Uh, it can look a little bit cakey here. It happens sometimes. I can get dry patches here in the corners. Sometimes foundation can cling to that. But it's not overly uh, dramatic. Uh, it looks nice underneath my eyes as well. It played nice with the concealer. I really did not need to set my foundation. So yeah, first impression. I'm actually pretty... Yeah, pretty excited about this foundation. Maybe this is the first foundation from Max Factor that I really like. So yeah, uh, Flexi Hold. I don't know. Again, here, which is very, very movable, very expression-y, you know. But it is here as well. And it, it hasn't really settled into lines here, just kind of here. That's the only thing. I don't know how it will wear throughout the day. This is also not a final review because I did not use a primer underneath today. I usually do. So I do want to try it with a few primers that I have here. And, you know, maybe even with a few powders. I want to try uh, brush different sponges because it can sometimes be the sponge as well. I want to try it a bit more. And... Uh, yeah, depending on when this video goes up, it will either be a pinned comment or... 
yeah in a review roundup or monthly favorites monthly haul you know because this is part of the month haul of what is it today now october yeah so i will update you regardless but for now first impression i like it i like it uh, a lot actually it is by no means as good as my nars uh, or my clinique but it shouldn't be because of the price difference but i do like it nonetheless the color is good as well it oxidized a tiny bit but enough for me that it matches what i have going on now so yeah i'm happy about that let me know down below if you have this foundation and then also let me know your skin type but my skin type is well 42 because i'm older so i have texture i have uh, wrinkles or whatever fine lines somewhere some deeper lines uh, on other places and my skin is normal it can get a little bit oily throughout the day here around my uh, nose in the winter it is more towards the normal to dry side it can get dehydrated as well and sometimes i have dry patches so i have a lot going on i also have a permanent redness in my face that it covered actually really really nicely so yeah guys that was it if you have the foundation let me know down below what you think of it also let us know your skin type then because that can kind of help you know so yeah that was it for me uh thank you so so much for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up it will help me out tremendously and yeah i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening is it still recording yeah a fabulous evening i will see you soon in my next one bye guys